Hello from the Career Services Office. Today we're going to discuss how to create an effective LinkedIn profile. Our learning outcomes for today are to demonstrate understanding of seven key components of LinkedIn to create a comprehensive and effective profile. We're also going to increase knowledge of LinkedIn and what is important to display. And so we'll start off with some LinkedIn facts. Over 25 million LinkedIn profiles are viewed every single day. Interesting facts from LinkedIn include one out of three professionals on the planet are on LinkedIn. Most people, um, well, a majority of folks use LinkedIn to you know, show their profiles and um, share them with companies like Mashable who are company pages that engage um, with LinkedIn. You have one in 20 LinkedIn profiles belonging to recruiters. 41% of visits to LinkedIn are done by cell phone. And 200 conversations are occurring per minute on LinkedIn in groups. And so if you do have a photo on your LinkedIn that makes it um, your increase, it increases your chances 11 times to have views when you have a photo. And so these facts are important to know because you want to know, okay, what are my LinkedIn goals? Uh, well, you want to build your personal brand, but what is a personal brand, right? And why a personal brand and how do you find your personal brand? And so a personal brand um, is really who you are in, in the conscious and intentional effort to create and influence public perception about you as an individual. And so you want to position yourself as an authority in your, your industry, your credibility. And so your LinkedIn profile will help you do that. And so why? Because you ultimately want to advance your career and increase your circle of influence and have a larger impact. And so how do you find your, your personal brand? Well, there's always um, self-help practices, looking at books to um, build your own brand. Um, and you can find those things out there. Uh, but what's most important is to have these social profiles which help you to do that. And so today we'll talk about the things that you need to have on LinkedIn, which helps you create this brand and your summary as well when you um, explain yourself and explain how you are, you know, becoming an expert in your industry or in the, in the legal field. And so first we'll talk about um, the LinkedIn profile and your contact info. And so you want to include your name. You want to, at minimum, provide your email address. Provide what you're comfortable providing. But this is, a, a, this is public and people will see these things on your profile. And so um, you want to use professional information and any professional websites or social media accounts that you would like to attach. And so your headline is a concise, Focus brand statement, describing what you want people to know. So that is what you want to create. And here you'll see an example where there's a, uh, the headline is Law Extern for Michigan Attorney General um, and Innovation Assistance for Legal R&D, right? And, she's, and this, this woman is a Miss J.D. Fellow. And so you see here, she has her current and pre, her education and says she's in the greater Detroit area for legal services. And so you just want to make sure that that headline is how you're going to be remembered to someone and also part of your personal brand. And so your LinkedIn summary, you want to talk in first person. It's intimate and it's like having a conversation um, with the reader. And so here you want to create and craft a one page mini biography that does not summarize your resume, but a provides a first person account of your skills, experiences, and interests. And so only the first two lines of your summary are visible to those looking at your profile. So you want to make sure that um, here, like Greta, um, you have your summary and, and, and the first few sentences, you know, jump out at you. And so here she says, wondering how fashion and law overlap, right? So it's so People who are in this industry are going to be industry uh, interested and say, okay, you know, she's in law school, but she's also interested in fashion. How does she tie these together? And so she continues to talk about 
um, the fashion docket, which is her, her blog that she's launched to talk about fashion law. And so here you want to make sure um, that when you're having a conversation with the reader, um, you want to get them interested to know more to continue reading. Your first line could be a quote, it could be a statement. Here, Greta uses a question. And so you want to know the answer to that question. Um, even if you use um, words with punctuation like high energy, period, results driven, period, or focus, those are things where people want to know how you're going to explain that further. And so that helps with your summary to make sure you're branding yourself. So for the LinkedIn photo, you want to make sure that you can be found in those first searches. Some of the facts um, that we looked at earlier said that you're 11 times more likely to be found in the search if you have a photo. And so it should be a good photo with a professional headshot or a plain background. Um, your face should take up 60% of the frame. Here I've used an example of my LinkedIn photo. You see that majority of uh, myself is in the frame. Um, I chose to, you know, have a little bit of shoulders in the frame, but it's a professional photo that I've taken and I use that for my social sites across the board. And you can see there my headline, my title, Assistant Director for Michigan State College of Law, um, and I'm located in East Lansing. And so you want to make sure that um, your profile is standard and LinkedIn will resize it, but it can't be bigger than eight um, megabytes. So remember that. And so these are some examples of photos that are good, professional photos, right? Um, it, on LinkedIn, you won't really, you can use a full body photo, but like I said, it'll be resized. So um, you wanna just make sure to capture your face, whereas you don't wanna have pictures of you hiking or with beers or anything that's not professional, or um, there's a gentleman here, he has on a suit, but you can't really see his face because of the sunlight, right? So, or you don't wanna have other people in the photo and crop someone out for your LinkedIn photo. It wants to be, it should be a photo just of you and professional. And so moving on to experience, you want to make sure that you list all the experience you have, but you don't, you should not copy and paste your resume. Um, here, there are specific examples of how Daniel has um, worked as an innovation intern. Um, he put, you know, he researched, he collaborated, he presented. Um, these are all action words that are saying what he's done in that position and while um, he was interning for this summer. And so you wanna make sure that you're um, making sure you put terms in there that are um, going to help you explain how your legal experience works to help and would be beneficial to companies. So education. Uh, you want to include all your higher education, right? Your undergrad degrees, masters, um, and obviously your juris doctor. Um, you may also include a brief description for each higher education experience. Here, um, you can see on this example of education, there is Michigan State College of Law, um, the juris doctor, right, from 2015 to 2018. And then there is um, Thomas Aquinas College from um, 1999 to 2003. Right, so you can choose to add a description. Sometimes people just put the education and choose to focus on um, their experience to where they want and their summary where they want to explain more of their personal brand and who they are. All right, and number seven. So our other LinkedIn sections like publications, if you have a publication, it should definitely be included because even if it's not legal, um, for example, if you have a science publication and you're looking to go into IP, it's highly recommended to include it because employers look for that. But publications show that um, you write very well and someone has published you. Um, and so that really plays up the writing skills. And so you want to list leadership positions or organizations. You want to say the role you took. Um, you want to draw from education and work in your practical experiences, but only include the skills that you have. Um, include things such as research, writing, advocacy, advocacy, all those things are important um, as a lawyer, and you want to make sure that um, you highlight the skills that you have that would be great for a particular 
company or uh, individual employer. It is very important for you to make sure that you uh, list your, your best qualities and highlight your best self on your LinkedIn profile. Um, if you need uh, more help with this, you're more welcome to reach out to an advisor um, or you can email the career account if you have a specific question um, for your LinkedIn. Um, we are here to help you and to guide you through this. This was just a quick overview um, to look at you know, some of the, the ways that we can utilize um, to make a, a LinkedIn that's effective and also utilize it um, you know, to take advantage of all those people who are utilizing LinkedIn, whether uh, coworkers or companies, people who can help us um, land different positions. It's been a pleasure and have a great day.